Hello and welcome back to Coating Gaming. We are here on Foot Manager 20 for episode number 21 of our 1860 Munich series. And in today's episode, we face third place Erdogan and then fifth place Augsburg 2. So, two very important games in the title race. And as it currently stands, we are at top of the table again. Played 28 games, won 16, drawn 8, lost 4 with 56 points, which means we are 7 points ahead of Osnabrück. And we could damage Erdogan's chances of getting automatic promotion if we win today against them. Since you were last with us, we didn't really score that much for three games. It was a 0 0 to Munster, 0 0 to Underhatching. We lost 1-0 to Werder Bremen 2, and then we won 1-0 against Oberhassen, and then 2-0 against Bayern 2, which was a very good result. So it's been iffy form. Um, is, has there been any transfers? I have made some offers for people. Uh, this guy on a free, I believe. Yes, this guy on a free. He doesn't have a... Um, optional extension which is good um, so he would come in as I'm thinking an inside forward on that left side and he would be the best player in the club the Canadian winger who is also Ivorian I don't think we can uh, could we if we get promoted we'll be able to play him so if he comes in and we can't play him, that's going to be awkward because he will be on nine grand a week. And then I've also put in a uh, transfer offer of 40,000 rising to 100,000 for Anderson Lukoki. Le if we get him, I'm just going to call him Anderson. He's um, Angolan. I can only assume he's German as well. Yes. His other nationalities, he is German as well. Um, he is at Erdogan currently. He was a wing back on the on that left side. He is currently three star, maybe three and a half star, with a four star, maybe four and a half star potential, which is good. The reason why we're bringing him in is because there's been a bit of a bit of a boo boo happened with our with with one of our players, and as you can see down here, Strella is out for three to four months with a damaged spine. So currently we have Hoffman here, um, but he's not really any good. Um, but Etienne comes back, comes into the team, and we we yeah we don't have anyone else. So buying someone on that side might be an important part. I've just realised that he can. This is a very weird position this guy can play. But yeah, his his training has sort of gone downhill now. His agility's gone down as you'd expect from a damaged spine. But he is seeing a specialist. We have paid the money. So hopefully we'll be able to permanently fix it. And he won't um he, he won't have uh, too too severe injuries here. He has been playing quite well for us. So it does mean that there is a few changes to the squad. And this is the squad that is gonna um gonna play. So we have Joel in goal, the back four of Etienne, Wolf, Maltinis and Sissoko. There is one thing that's happened. I've just realised there's one thing that's happened. If we go down to transfers, you'll see that we sold Dawn. We sold Dawn to buy Leverkusen for 1.9 million. It could rise to 5.25. It was pretty much a no-brainer in the end because of that. Because of that um, increase there. Um, he is valued at 3 million at, at Bayer Leverkusen, but we weren't going to... We weren't going to keep hold of him, basically. And as you can see currently, he's only 57 um, recommended with the scout report. So it's a bit iffy on whether he's he's going to be good enough. But to cash in on that much, I thought, yes, fair enough. Which does leave us with a little bit of money left over after I've balanced the books. Hence why we've got some people coming in. So that's why Wolf is in the team at this moment in time. Um, then we've got Kusterman as a ball-winning midfielder here. And I'm actually going to, I'm going to compare him with um with Frieda. And I'm gonna It's it's six of what it's it's six of one and half a dozen of the other, isn't it, for these two? So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with Customer. I'm gonna stick with Customer in the base midfield. We've got Fcan and Drezzle in front of him with Loretta, Brock and Otto rounding out the 
front three. As you can see from the last five games here, the front three have had pretty piss poor performances, and so is Efkan as well. When Efkan doesn't play well, we don't play well. Is what I've discovered here. Um, but both Wolf and um, Multinus have been playing quite well recently, which is a good sign, as well as some of our other people down here. So let's kick things off. Hopefully we can get a win here. We are going to play a bit more cautious in this first one than we would normally do, because it is very important that we do not lose to them. Etienne is lacking match sharpness, but he's going to have to get sharp pretty quick. I've got options on the bench. Ooh, a recent sense have heard again in first place. We're in seventh. Yeah, we need to we need to match them here. I have faith in you. Go out there and get it done. Mm, they are playing our exact formation, which could be interesting. Very very interesting. Let's go out there and kick off. They are kicking off from right to left in there. Weirdly red and blue kit. Because um, I might drop us back to cautious. We are away from home. Ease us into the game a bit. Hopefully they won't get a, a much of a chance. That is the <laughs> that is the wing back that I'm trying to trying to buy. So if we could not let him assist any goals, that would be great because that would be painful for us. But they are playing the ball around us quite well here. But we have got our banks of well, I guess it was a bank of. Nine behind the ball, wasn't it? Well, including the keeper, ten. But Fkan almost tries to nick the ball off them there, and they are playing it quite well. It's one minute gone. I'm wondering if there's going to be a goal here. They've gone all the way back to their defenders. Otto does steal the ball now, and he's through the defence, and he shoots just wide. There is a lack of players, or people here, a lack of fans in the stadium there, which isn't that good. As they've got a free kick on the far side. We do clear it just about with Brock, but they get the ball back. Wolf now goes long to Otto. What can Otto do here? He goes past one. He goes past two. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. He goes round him, and he bloody scores a goal. Oh, my God. That was fantastic. David Otto's 15th goal of the season. He hasn't scored that many recently. But that was fantastic. And not only it didn't go down as a Wolf um, assist, so what happened here? Ah, oh, the keeper got a hand to it, but Otto gets the ball back and slots it round him. That was great, and there is a highlight after the goal, which is worrying. So I'm going to slap a bit of praise on them now as Erdogan come forward. And hopefully we can uh, do the exact same again. So Efkan is uh, pressing the ball down nicely. Their wing back is now on the ball, and Joel makes a save. Header on target, which was good. We've had, we had two shots, one of them on target, one of them a goal. That was great. Both of them with Otto. So they are winning a bit more possession than we are. But, but, <laughs> it's it's, uh, it's going well. Yeah, we'll always press, we'll always press Anderson. Zetian has a throne on this far side. Otto picks it up and Customer now into Fcan. We are playing it very fast here. Customer goes back to Wolf. What can we do here? Martinez is there, but he goes over the top to Loretta. Can he find a cross here on that far side? Beats one man, somehow crosses it. Otto's there. The rest are again, and they do get it clear, and there's now a potential counter-attack going on. So their striker gets the ball, but our players have got back and recovered as they have a corner on the far side. They go to the back post. Oh, my God, so Soko clears it off the line. Holy crap, that was f that's exactly why you put people on the line, as they've got another corner here. We are under a lot of pressure. And they have they go near post this time, so they aren't mixing up in the corners. Which is very, very interesting. Customer has it here, now goes back to Wolf. What can we do here? Goes into Martinez. Nice ball playing defender. He goes out wide to Sissoko. Can Sissoko get across? He's got nobody with him. He has enough time in the world. Goes past one. Otto something happens there. That should have been better on both of their parts. But Anderson does clear it for them as Loretta has this corner on this near side. We go f near post again. And Marcel Brock has scored his ninth goal of the season. Bloody hell, he scored loads. <laughs> and that is exactly why we go for that near post. That near post flick on or just straight into the goal there. Loretta with another assist. Unmarked because Otto was lurking. Beautiful goal. And we make it 2-0 just before half time. 
will always press the other uh, fullback, I believe it is. As we have another corner on the far side with Sissoko this time. Again, for that near post, doesn't quite get it, but Brock gets it back. What can we do here? Into Drezzle. Back over to Sissoko. He goes all the way out to the side to Wolf. What can Wolf provide here? He goes inside to Drezzle. Back to Martinez, and it looks like this highlight is petering out here. But Sissoko has it now on this near side. What can we do here? Into Drezzle. Sissoko made a nice run, but customer finds F can. Otto now! <sighs> Should have done a bit better than that. Should have at least hit the target. Well, he did hit the target, but it was just a bit of a, a poor, a tame finish in the end. But we go into half time 2-0. That was fantastic. I am very happy with that performance. Keep it up. Just go out there. Everyone is having a good game. If we can keep this up, this would be great. This would be a great three points for us. And as it stands, it would put us nine points clear. Osnabrück must be losing, I believe. But they're going to have a chance just after the kickoff. 40 seconds gone in the second half, and they are coming forward. But Loretta does try and close down. He can't. And they have the ball in the middle of the park. So we are pressing them quite nicely here. They go over the top to Anderson. Can he find a cross there? No, he can't. He goes inside. They are doing pretty much the same as what we're doing. I think they're doing a ticket attacker as well. They're through on goal, and Joel makes a point-blank save, which is fantastic. As it stands, they can drop down to fourth, and Magdenberg go above them. So they've got everything to play for this, and the corner goes way too long, and we escape. There's a highlight straight away. So Soko on that far side. Oh, our customer gives the ball away, and we need to get back here. Drezzle doesn't make the challenge here. And they are now in the middle of the pitch. They are working it very well around us. There is a demand going to be made in a second. Hopefully we can clear the ball though. As Etienne now picks it up. We will demand more here. Uh, we're not going to tell Wolf to man mark anyone. Oh, that is not good. Right. I'm going to waste time sometimes. As they have made, Tom Bohr has made it 2-1. We are still winning, but that was coming. You can sort of tell with the amount of shots they've had in and around our box here. And Sissoko having a bit of a poor game here, but Kusterman is tiring as well. Now we're going to get Frieda on. Sissoko, we've got Becker on the bench. Let's get Becker on the, on, on the field, actually. Let's change the defense around a little bit Loretta is tiring but he's I feel like he's gonna have to stay out there that's the only other person to change I'm thinking is Drezzle I will change 84th minute gone we'll get Bergman on and we will swap them around so Efkan now becomes a defensive player and I'm gonna I'm gonna doubly change things all right Steve might play my defend Wing backs are on defend now. Not a lot of people attacking, but we don't we don't need a goal here anymore. We just need to waste time. And as it goes into the 90th minute, we've got three minutes of stoppage time remaining, and it's all but gone. There's four seconds remaining. Osnabrück have scored. They've made it two one in their game, but the offside has been called. And the game is over. Sorry, I was looking at the, the, the top left of the screen then. Osnabrück's scores were going mental here. I'm going to say that was a real Jekyll and Hyde performance. Some of our players were fantastic there, but not all of them. That second half was a bit poor, but oh my god, we have gone 10 points clear of second place Osnabrück, who are level on points now with Magdenburg. And things are looking good. And we've got eight days until the Augsburg 2 game, which they have dropped down to seventh now. So I will join you in that one. We are back for the Augsburg 2 game. There's a few changes that have been made. Um, purely because... Um, actually, no, 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 no. We'll get Drizzle back involved here. Um, purely because there's there's a game in two days. <laughs> against Kaiserslaut and who are 8th. So we're going to have to adjust slightly. And I have changed the team a little bit around. We've got Joel in goal. Becker at left back because Etienne... I don't want to risk him for this game if we can... Well, he's going to have to play in this game or the next one. And I think Becker this one and Etienne next one. Wolf, Martinez and Sissoko. I attempted to get um, Lang involved here, but 
he, uh, his uh, fitness isn't the greatest. I do have um, Batiste on the bench. I will put Batiste on the bench actually here. Um, Kusterman as the defensive midfielder with Bergman and Dresden in front of him. Loretta, Brock and Otto up front. Loretta will have to come off at some point. And I'm going to put Gr Ken Perrin play that side. Ish. He can do for the, he can do a job over that side if we need him to, which he probably will do. But that's the team we're going for for this game. Hopefully, we can get another win on the table. Um, Osnabrück did win three 0 so they have gone back up to six point. Uh, no, seven points off us. So we do sort of need to win here, as they have quite a decent team. Um, yeah, we're favourites. Go go show them why. And then I have faith, obviously, all about the faith. Got to, got to praise them at every possible opportunity here. Get hard tackling on the midfielders as well. And there we go. As we kick off from left to right, we are at home. So we're going to stay on balance to start with and uh, see what happens from there. Now, we are playing a white kit and the Augsburg team are playing in their grey kit. So this could be a bit confusing. Although, according to my pictures and my kit pictures... They're playing in red today, which is worrying that it's grey on the field because something's gone wrong here. As Martinez goes back to Joel, four minutes gone here. We're playing it out from the back. Can we build something into an attack? We go all the way to Bergman. Nice ball from Drezzle there. Nice diagonal there. Loretta now picks it up on that far side. What can he do here? Do here? He goes back to Kusterman. Kusterman into Drezzle. They are pressing us quite hard here, but if we can find that killer ball, we should be able to unpin their entire defence here. We go out wide to Sissoko. Sissoko running towards goal. He's into the box now. He crosses to Loretta. Header on goal. And their keeper makes a save. Now, Becker is more than likely going to be uh, coming inside a bit more than um, uh, Etienne or Strella would normally do. But he has got a reasonable left foot, so he should be able to cross it. He does. He finds Brock, who has a shot. Volley. Nice volley on target. And it results in a corner on this far post as Bergman to take now. Goes near post. Otto with a header almost scores. We have got a person coming short on those uh, corners. We don't ever find him. But it's just to draw another player out of that front post. As Malone has a header on target and Joel picks the ball out of the air. Loretta already looking like he needs to be arrested as Becker is uh, struggling as well. I suppose he is doing a lot of running and he's not really match sharp. As Joel into Martinez here and we are playing out from the back quite nicely. We go over the top to Brock. He has a chance to run. He goes back inside to Drezzle. He finds him again. Sissoko's making the overlap. He does find him. Can Sissoko pick out a cross here? He does eventually, but they do header it clear. Customer picks it back up, and we're straight back in them. As what is happening with Brock? Brock's having a heart attack. <laughs> he was having like a stroke or so because Loretta now picks the ball back up in midfield into Drezzle. Back into Brock again as he finds Sissoko. Can this actually result in a chance here? Soko now out wide. He goes in. Loretta with a header and goal. And it is his third goal of the season. Alpha Sissoko showing why he's the uh, alpha of assists. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. I'm here all day. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was a bad joke. But either way, Loretta has scored. Alpha Sissoko got the assist. That was great teamwork there. We just kept on coming. And we now have a corner on that far side. Are we not coming short on this near side? Did I not change up for this near side for them to come short? Hmm. Might need to have a look at that after the game. I will actually look at it now. Let's have a look at the corner tactic here. Sorry, it is the right side. No, no one's coming short. Um, who? Who? Who should be coming short? Oh, no one on the edge of the box. Hmm, that's weird. Either way, we'll do that. We'll make it so that we do come short. It does open up the front post on that side. So hopefully that will result in another goal. As half time is rapidly approaching. I'm going to praise them for the final few minutes. Becker is looking like he might need to come off. This is why Etienne is on the bench. And everyone's Match sharpness is uh, becoming a problem here. Uh, yeah, just don't get complacent. And yeah, they're all gaining confidence. 
you weren't that bad, but you still can improve. Everyone's happy and motivated. Malone on the opposition team is injured, but they decided to keep him on. So hopefully they won't get many more shots on target. They've only had one on, uh, on target at the moment in time. We've had the majority of possession. Oh my god, I haven't seen it. 74%. We are dominating possession-wise, and it's only 1-0, which is always worrying. So there's always a chance on the counter that they will equalise as we go all the way back to Joel and we build from the back again. Joel into Martinez, back to Joel again. And they're trying to pull their their striker out of position so we can pass through him. And we have done this. Becker now on this left-hand side, who does he cuts inside, has a cross. Brock almost gets his head on the end of it. As they now have a chance, Joel picks out of the air. I am going to sub off Loretta now. We'll get Perrin in to play on that side. Hopefully there's an inside forward. That'll be a bit better. They are going to have to rotate the uh, the first choice players a bit. Um, Otto's natural fitness is normally quite good, so he sh might be able to play. If not, he will be on the bench for the next game at least. We have got uh, Timote on the bench, I believe. So we might bring him on up front. He hasn't actually played up front for us yet, as we are playing it quite well in our midfield. Martinis goes wide to Sissoko. What can Sissoko do here? Can we find another assist? Nice one too with Brock there. He's now got the world at his feet. Sissoko again. Brock with a shot. That was some very, very nice interplay there between the two people on the right-hand side. Um, I think I'm going to leave Becker. They do have a free kick here. Shot on goal. Joel pushes it over the bar. Who could I rest? I could rest a uh, custom man. He's looking never. I am. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get uh, Frieda on for custom man just because he's a bit nervous. We don't want him giving away any chances here. So we have to have made a change at a corner. That is very ominous, but nothing comes of it. Yeah, Becker is going to have to come off there. His match sharpness has impacted him, his uh, fitness in this, quite consider consi considerably. As Brock now picks it up and passes it to Martinez. Well, to Frieda's and then to Martinez. He goes over the top to Efkan, and that was a bit of a piss poor ball from Frieda here. Can he win the ball back? He doesn't, and they are now, I would say, through on goal. But Etienne picks the ball up now into Wolf back to Etienne. And we are passing it out of our defence quite nicely here. Frieda now to Perrin on this side. Obviously, I am playing people out of positions a little bit. But they should be able to do it. They are at least adequate in them. As Brock now goes into Otto, who has his effort hit the crossbar and stays out, unfortunately. We have made all three substitutions, so I'm just going to praise them. I'm going to frequently waste time, and then we're going to drop to cautious on the 85th minute and hopefully we can see out the game here but a second would be quite nice as Sissoko is on this far side into Drezel now into Frieda Bergman picks it up Etienne now on this overlap Perrin now does a ridiculous spin as Etienne gets the ball back who beats his man Otto has a shot I'm going to go cautious now let's solidify that possession that we've had this game as there's now a free kick with Bergman to take. Martinez is the target. Frieda picks it up in a half volley into the keeper's hands. And suddenly there's a highlight as Brock is racing forward. He beats... Okay, he's running on the spot. Brock is running on the spot. It's definitely a red card for a start. That's only a yellow there. Hmm. Stopping a potential goal-scoring attack. Okay, foot manager, you want to call it if you give him a yellow, you can give him a yellow. But we have a free kick. Wolf with the header. And nothing doing by that. As there is three minutes still remaining as they have a throw on this far side. They've come into this a little bit more as we've, we've sort of stepped off the gas here. I might go back to balance here and, and see if we can just see it out on balance as we normally play. They are in the box here. Frieda does manage to get the ball back and he goes forward to Otto. Doesn't quite get it under his control and they come back at us again. So we're putting them under quite a lot of pressure here. Kaiser is now in the middle of the pitch. And they pace it back, and they are somewhat through. They manage to go back. And is this going to result in a chance, or they cross it into the box, and it's a goal kick, apparently. Joel decided to leave it just in the end. 
Barack is not going to be able to play the next game as it's 90 fi- 95 minutes have been played here. Surely that is it. And it is the final whistle goes and we do get two wins out of two. Yep, play of the match, Alpha Sissoko. Fantastic performance there. It's a very nice victory. I will tell these people. I'm not happy with your performance there. The front three needed to be a bit better there. We only won because of a fantastic assist. But that does mean we are still 10 points clear. And I believe... I will join you for the last two games of the season. I can't even say this. Or if we can win it before then, we'll show you that game. <laughs> so yeah, last last two games of the season. Or if we can win it before those two, I will show you a game. It potentially is that Osnabrück game there. It's the potential where we can win it, depending on results and stuff. But I'm not going to jinx it this time. I don't want to bottle it again because we were we were this same position last year and we just capitulated at the end. So join me for the last two games. If if we can win the league before that time, I'm not going to say when within the league. Um, then we'll we'll show you that game. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you have enjoyed the episode, make sure to click that like button, comment and subscribe. If you do end up subscribing, make sure you click that notification bell to stay up to date with everything on the channel. But until next time. Goodbye.